All right, welcome back to another video on using diaphragm elk calls. This time we're gonna talk about making cow sounds with a diaphragm call. If you haven't checked out the previous video on just using a diaphragm elk call, be sure and check it out first. The things that we cover, the fundamentals and the basics of using a diaphragm elk call are gonna be vital to help you maximize the sounds that you're making as you start making these cow sounds with a diaphragm call. So when it comes to a cow sound, it's a really simple sound. And the mechanics of it are that it starts at a higher note and then tapers off fairly rapidly. So you start at a higher pitch and then drop off. So if you think back and look back on the last video we did, we talked about tongue pressure. To get the high note, we wanna increase tongue pressure. So we start with an increased tongue pressure and then let off that tongue pressure to get this sound. And that's all there is to a cow call. So you wanna start with an exaggerated tongue pressure to get the higher note. So I'm holding that, I'm channeling that air across it to get that high note. From there, all I wanna do is drop off, just drop off that tongue pressure. So just kind of roll my tongue forward and down off of the latex. Still making contact as it comes slowly and gradually. It's a, it's a rapid drop, but it's not an abrupt drop. We don't want to do that where we pull it away completely immediately. It's a taper off of the latex with your tongue pressure. I like to push just a little bit of air against it right when I start. So I've got high tongue pressure, push a little bit of air pressure against it, and then drop the air in the tongue. So you can hear it's a really simple two-part sound to make a cow sound, just a simple cow call. From there, it's just a matter of shortening up that high pitch a little bit and making a little bit more of a rapid transition off of the latex with your tongue. And that's all there is to a cow sound. One more thing I like to add just to give it a little bit more realism, a little bit more of a, a formation of an elk sound is I pronounce with my lips the letters E-O, E-O, E-O. And as your lips make that sound, it just gives a little bit more realism to the cow call. Listen to the difference without it and then with it. adds just a little bit more realism, a little bit more of a nasally sound that a cow elk's gonna produce. The difference between a cow call and a calf call is really just the pitch and the frequency or the, the cadence of the calf sound. So a cow is going to be a little bit deeper, a little richer sound. It's gonna be a little bit longer and more drawn out where a calf sound is gonna be a little higher pitched and it's gonna be a little shorter and choppier. So I'll do a couple cow calls and then I'll do a calf call. Again, the, the differences between a cow call and a calf call are gonna be very subtle. It's just in the pitch and the 
frequency or the cadence of that calf call. Making both of them though is really simple. It's just a two-part sound starting with that high pitch, dropping tongue pressure into that low pitch. And there's really no reason why you can't pick up a diaphragm call, learn how to use the call like we taught in the last video, and then make the cow sounds using the mechanics that we were taught in this video. And your cow sounds will sound like this. Again, you don't need very much air pressure at all. In fact, you can make a cow sound with minimal air pressure just simply by using tongue pressure. All I'm doing for those sounds is trapping just a slight amount of air between my tongue and the latex and flexing my tongue into it to push that air across the latex. There's no air coming from my lungs or from my diaphragm at all at that point. I do like to add a little bit of air there to get a little more volume, but I think you get the point. Again, keep it simple. Learn to use those cow sounds. If you want more information on how to use diaphragm elk calls and especially the sequences and the calling tactics that are used to call in elk, be sure and check out the University of Elk Hunting online course at elk101.com. And feel free to use the promo code YouTube to save $10 when you sign up for the online course. And if you're ready to learn how to make bugles using a diaphragm elk call, be sure and check out the next video here on the Elk 101 YouTube channel. The success rate for do-it-yourself public land elk hunters hovers around 10%. The reality of that statement is that nine out of 10 elk hunters each fall fail to fill their tag, or the average elk hunter only fills their elk tag once every 10 years. But average no longer applies to you. Crush the averages and sign up for the University of Elk Hunting online course today and become a consistently successful elk hunter.